it's easy to look out for yourself first. If, if you ever notice whenever you got on an airplane and if you were sitting with somebody else, they tell you, make sure you put on your oxygen mask before you help children. Now, when you first hear that, you think that's pretty odd because you would want to help out the people that you care for first. But the reality is you have to help yourself out first. The more you do for yourself, the more you can do for other people. Perfect example. When you start looking out for your finances and you make sure that you pay yourself first, you make sure you do all the things that are necessary for you to get ahead. When people in your life want something, then you have that opportunity to help them. If every time you make $100, you give 10 out to everybody you know, everybody has $10. And then when you guys are all broke, nobody can help anybody. But if you're selective with your wealth, if you're selective with your time, if you're selective with your health and taking care of yourself, that puts you in a much, much better position to look out for other people. Now, don't take this wrong, women. Don't take this wrong, mothers, but you guys are miserable at this. Women always say, hey, my kids are my world. My kids are my life. I'll do anything for them. And at the same time, your kids are listening to that and they go, hmm, I'm her world. Hmm, I'm her life. And then they take advantage of you. That's why you end up extending yourself much further than you should. What you have to do is you have to realize, number one, you're somebody's kid. Number one, number two, you're somebody's world. So you have to be positive, you have to be focused, and you have to live your goals and dreams because that's what allows them to see what you do and then they can understand and then they can move on and they can move forward too. That's all I have for today. I hope it was clear. So nothing else for me, but for you, that's TMI.